Hello to our wonderful friends of Moments with Pastor Fouquet. It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you to another exciting and inspirational episode that I'm calling True Flourishing. Trust, it's a blessing. In this episode, I'd like to teach us what it truly means for us to flourish. In one of my favorite scriptures from the book of Daniel, in chapter 4 and verse 4, Nebuchadnezzar spoke a great truth to us, and I'd like us to begin by reading it. It says, I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in my house and flourishing in my palace. To help our understanding, the word rest there means to be secured, to be at peace. And the other word that deserves attention is flourishing. To flourish, as Nebuchadnezzar used it, is to be green, to be prosperous. I can paraphrase that sentence like this. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at peace and felt secured at home. Therefore, I prospered at my work. It would appear that his prosperity at his palace, his place of work, was contingent upon his feeling safe and having a sense of peace and security at home. You know, friends, Nebuchadnezzar was absolutely right. And nothing much has changed in the thousand years that he wrote that. Makes you wonder about the wisdom employed by those who focus all their attention on their work. They neglect their homes and their families only to lose both job and home. Such people should please backtrack right now and perhaps with God's help and mercy, they may still be able to recover their families. Anyway, that's not really where I'm going today. Let's read from scriptures again and go to Psalm 92 from verse 12. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. They shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. The first thing, friends, we notice is that it is the righteous that flourishes like a palm tree. Going by our earlier definition of flourishing, we may want to disagree, but that only the righteous flourish. However, a deeper look will convince us. You see, friends, true prosperity, like true flourishing, goes beyond money, which is where our minds go when we think about being green. We think of the greenback currency, dollars and cents. But there's more to it, and that's why I like Psalm 92 so much. Let's look deeper at verse 12. The righteous flourishes like a palm tree. What are the characteristics of a palm tree so we understand? Number one, many species of the palm tree live more than a century, a hundred years. So true flourishing is living to old age, but that's not all. Number two, some species are called skyscrapers because they can grow up to 70 feet in the air. That's a lot of height. But it also means that righteous people will go tall and prosperous and they become visible only in a good way. Number three, palm trees are a symbol of life. And this has to do with the cedars of Lebanon that was mentioned. Like palm trees, cedars grow tall. But what distinguishes them is that they have very large trunks and they send their roots deep into the water, a ground, and they always find water. This makes them powerful and they live long. Righteous people have stability and they have life in abundance. That's where their prosperity comes from. They outlive and they always outlast their enemies. Friends like a palm tree or a cedar tree, righteous people are planted, but not just anywhere. They are planted in the house of God and they flourish there. Their flourishing is just not in the marketplace, even in the church and their communities, they flourish. I want us to read verse 14 together. Are you ready? Let's go. They, are, they still bring forth fruit in old age, and they shall be fat and flourishing. Awesome. One thing that characterizes old people, uh, whether they're people, animals, or plants, is that they become fruitless as they age, not the righteous. They continue to bear fruit, whether it's in season or out of season. Age is not a limitation for them. No way. They keep bearing good fruits. The Bible says they will be fat and flourishing, not thinning out and not getting small. They look full and flourishing because they are. Friends, I hope I've inspired you to continue to live righteously. Don't give up, no matter the dryness of the circumstances around you right now. Just send your roots down and you will find water. Soon, your situation will change and you'll be on your way again to the top floor. 
God bless you all for joining us in this episode. Until next week when we come again with another fresh episode. Stay strong and keep it together. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my videos. I'm Pastor Funke. Thank you all and bye for now.